Hello students, this is experiment number 6 to separate and study the plant pigments by paper chromatography. First of all, write the objective of the experiment that is to separate and study the plant pigments by paper chromatography and then write the requirements. We require fresh spinach leaves or any other leaf available, then chromatographic paper or Wattman number no. 1 paper which is made from specially selected cotton cellulose. Then we require a wide long test tube, a split cork, mortar and pestle, petroleum ether, acetone, beaker, filter paper, capillary tubes, sand, dropper etc. Write theory behind the experiment. It is a very important part of the experiment. Paper chromatography is a technique used to separate various chlorophyll pigments like chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B, xanthophyll, carotenes, etc. Ye sabhi pigments ek hi solution mein present hain aur inhe separate kar sakte hain according to the rate they travel along a chromatographic paper. The movement of pigments on the chromatographic paper is basically governed by the principle of adsorption and capillary action. Or jaise jaise solvent paper par move karta hai, wo mixture mein se different pigments ko alag alag distance par spread kar deta hai and pigments separate ho jate hai. So, as the solvent flows through the paper, it spreads the different pigments of the mixture to various distances and they get separated. Let us see the procedure. For this, see the pictures given below. Step number one, grind a few spinach leaves with little sand and acetone in a mortar and pestle. Step two, filter it to get acetone extract of the leaf pigment. Test tube mein dekho, hume filter karne ke baad pigments ka extract mil gaya hai. Now come to step number 3. Take a narrow strip of chromatographic paper and cut its one end into a narrow notch as shown in the figure number 3. Step number 4. Now put a drop of the pigment extract in the middle of the strip near the notch with the help of capillary tube. Isko dry hone dijiye. Or is step ko 4 to 5 times repeat ki jiye. Now come to step number 6. Take a test tube and pour 5 ml of ether acetone solvent in it. Solvent ka ratio 9 parts ether and 1 part acetone hoga. Now step 7. Jo chromatographic strip aapne load kiya tha with pigment isko hang ki jiye in the test tube with the help of a split cork or isko aise set ki jiye ki loaded spot solvent se 1 cm upar ho. Now step 8, make the cork airtight and place the test tube undisturbed for some time. When solvent rises 3 fourth of the strip, strip ko bahar nikal lijiye aur dry hone ke liye rakh dijiye. Whatever you have observed on the chromatographic strip, write it in the observations. The dried chromatographic paper strip shows four distinct pigment bands or in four pigments ko aap unke color se identify kar sakte ho. Chlorophyll B ka band ka color light green color ka hoga. Chlorophyll A band dark green color ka hoga. Xanthophyll yellow colored band hoga and carotin band orange yellow color ka hoga. Now, measure the distance of each pigment band from the loading spot and also the distance traveled by the solvent. Figure dekhi, small d, loading line se chlorophyll B band ka distance hai and capital D, loading line se solvent ka distance hai. Is tarah se aap chlorophyll A, xanthophyll and carotenes band ke distance ko from loading line note karenge and then calculate retention factor or retardation factor RF of each pigment.
do the calculation see the formula used to calculate rf value of each pigment iske liye formula hai rf is equal to distance traveled by the pigment which is small d upon distance traveled by the solvent which is capital d make the table of all the readings make five columns first column is pigments then color of spot then distance of the solvent from loaded spot which is capital d then distance of pigment from loaded spot which is small d and then finally rf value which is equal to small d divided by capital d write readings of all four pigments and calculate the rf value of each pigment as calculated here in the table write the results the upper band is orange yellow colored carotene with rf value equal to 0.95 below carotene is yellow band of xanthophyll with rf value equal to 0.73 below xanthophyll is dark green band of chlorophyll a with rf value equal to 0.66 and the lowest band is light green of chlorophyll b with rf value equal to 0.42 draw diagram on left side plain sheet of your practical notebook also you can paste the strip of chromatographic paper along with it write the precautions to be taken first spinach leaves should be fresh second the loading spot should be small and concentrated third the loading spot should be placed 2 to 3 cm away from the tip of the notch fourth while hanging the strip in the test tube the loading spot should remain about 1 cm above the solvent level fifth the chromatographic paper strip should not touch the walls of the test tube and finally the chromatographic paper strip should not be dried in sun light so that's all for today thank you very much for staying with me subscribe the channel to get the information about my new video thank you thank you so much